I was 12 when this happened. Today's my birthday and I'm turning 13. So one day I went to get groceries from the nearby convenience store. I was curious about what my mom had given me, so I took the list out and read it. Onions, carrots, sauce, chilies, and a lollipop. My five-year-old brother loved lollipops. I did too, but I didn't like them as much as he did. So I bought the items and I went home. Mom wasn't home yet, so I gave my brother a lollipop and took one for myself. I went to my room and was about to start watching Netflix when I heard my brother talking to someone. I was puzzled. My mom hadn't come home yet since I didn't hear the door open. There was no one else here. I got up and went down and saw my brother by the window talking to someone. I walked up to him and he turned around. I asked who he was talking to and his answer scared me. Oh, it was my new friend Alberto. I knew all of his friends, but none of them were named Alberto. I went near the window just to see a dark shadow fade into the woods near my house. That's when my mom came in. She asked why I was looking so frightened. I told her what my brother told me and she wasn't shocked or anything like that. I was a scaredy cat. I would never watch horror movies and if I did, I'd usually not be able to sleep for three nights. But what I'd seen was real. She didn't believe me and told me it was probably my imagination. After a few days without any commotion, my mom said she had to go to her college and she said she had to file some admission paperwork. She left and my brother took two lollipops out of the packet. I didn't pay much attention to it and went to my room. Then I heard a sucking sort of sound like when a kid's sucking on a toy or a lollipop. I rushed down and saw my brother near the window crying. The window was open and there was a creature who was sucking on both the lollipops. It was black with a huge mouth which spread from one ear to another. It had greasy long hair which was dripping with some sort of liquid that looked like blood. I screamed and ran toward the window and shut it down. I was surprised he didn't do anything. I took my brother and ran upstairs. I could hear it banging on the windows. I took my phone and called the police and then I called my mother. She was mortified. The police said that they would arrive in 10 minutes. We hid in our bathroom because that's what we're supposed to do, right? My brother was still crying, repeating the words, I got one for him and one for me, but why did he take both? I hugged him. My brother was the most annoying kid in the world, but he was my brother. What was 10 minutes felt like 10 hours until the banging stopped and we heard the siren of the police car. My mom burst into the room and hugged us. She then took us downstairs. The police were there. There was blood all over the window and on the carpet. The police didn't get him. I had nightmares for a month after that incident. It was clear that my brother had nightmares too since he woke up crying every night for about two months. After about five months, we moved out. Now, I love my new home. I didn't have any friends at my old home, but here I made two besties. Now as I'm writing this, I remember another thing. The creature was eating the lollipop with one hand, and in the other he had a leg of a human. <laughs>